Hello everybody. Today, I'll show you the Picture Instruments Warping Wheels. On first sight, they kind of look like the classic color wheels, which are also known as the famous three-way color corrector. But as you will see very shortly, with the Warping Wheels, we really have reinvented the color wheels for you guys. Just like with the classic color wheels, there is a master wheel that lets you tint, saturate and desaturate the entire image or change its brightness. By the way, every single setting in Warping Wheels can be reset by right-clicking on the corresponding element. In addition, most of you probably already know how to tint the various brightness ranges of an image by using the controls in the middle of the individual wheels for shadows, midtones and highlights and that there is a brightness control for each of the three ranges. So far, so good. But now we up the ante because now we get to those features most of you certainly don't know from your three-way color corrector. To make sure you can actually retrace the effects of the controls, I have placed a small gradient below my image. Here you can see the blue turquoise tint of the shadows, here the orange tinted mids, and here on the right the turquoise green tint of the highlights. Using the range control on the wheel for the shadows, you can determine whether the adjustments apply more to the darker, the mid, or the brighter shadows. The same, of course, applies to the range controls for the midtones and the highlights. In addition, you can also set the width of the individual range with the smoothness control. A high value widens the range. As a consequence, the crossover to the adjacent brightness range gets smoother. A small value reduces the width of the respective range, which also becomes apparent by the range controls moving closer together. Especially when the radius of the effect becomes smaller, the range controls play a greater role because, depending on the setting, not all the image's brightness ranges will be covered by the warping wheels. Depending on the distribution of brightness across the image, your tint may not be noticeable as a result. But that's not all. Since it's very easy to screw up your skin tones when working with color correction, we have also added extra features to restore and adjust skin tones in picture instruments warping wheels. In most cases, you can avoid using masks to save your skin. Simply use the Protect Skin Tones control to make sure that all skin tones are unaffected by the color wheels. The Boost Skin Tones control lets you saturate or desaturate the skin tones independent from the color wheels. With the Skin Tone Hue control, you can then also adjust the skin colors a little. Well, now I haven't even paid attention to the fact that while I explained our plugin, I also have created quite a nice look. So let me take some more time to show you how easy it is to create a very cool teal and orange look with warping wheels. I can quickly get to a nice blue turquoise tint by using the master control. You absolutely can invest a little more time and effort and use the individual color wheels for shadows, mids and highlights. I think for a crispy and luscious teal and orange look, the image is a little too bright so I lower the overall brightness a bit. Well, now we have a nice, slightly turquoise accented blue tint. However, as the name teal and orange suggests, we also need orange tones in our image and to get there, we simply protect the skin tones from the blue turquoise tint. Hey. That looks pretty good already. For a better color contrast, I boost the skin tones a little more. Voila! What do you think? Some of you may ask themselves why we called our plugin Warping Wheels. Well, when we created our product Color Cone, we also invented our very own Picture Instruments Color Warp technology, which can be used to very smoothly bend colors in the color space. This greatly reduces compression artifacts such as block formation or banding. Since the increased use of smartphone pics and videos, as well as mini gimbals and drones led to more and more heavily compressed footage, we think it's a very important step to create our own algorithms in such a way that they amplify the sometimes inevitable compression artifacts during post-processing as little as possible. Well. Have great fun working with the color wheels. If you have any questions or suggestions about the warping wheels, just drop us a message. And if you have enjoyed this video, you can subscribe to our channel. 
and don't forget to click on that little bell to receive notifications whenever we have a new video for you. Stay tuned, your Picture Instruments team.